Welcome to Zero to Awesome, where today we will not be finishing painting cabinets for my house. We will not be installing garage lights or just generally organizing and cleaning my garage. We will not be trying to figure out why my players will not start, even though we've already thrown tons of parts at it. We will not be fixing my girlfriend's air conditioner in her car. We also will not be getting my outboard motor ready for the summer. We will definitely not be finishing my Volkswagen project, which is completely neglected. We will not be working on the snackle box. We will not be doing any sort of yard work, even though it is springtime. Instead of doing any of those important things that desperately, desperately need to get done, we're gonna be working on this. This is me trying to figure out how to power my sailboat with 20 volt power tool batteries. So yeah, let's, let's do this instead of those other things. Last we left off with this project, we showed that we can take a 20 volt power tool battery, hook it up to a battery adapter that we bought online for like 10 bucks, run it through this. This is a safety shutoff switch. So if the voltage gets too low, it'll kill the whole device so we don't ruin our power tool battery. And then run it through a step down converter to turn our 20 volts into 12 volts, therefore powering the boat. Since the last time we looked at this, I did beef up the step-down converter. The one we were using before was kind of weenie. This thing is gonna give us a lot more power. And I got this. This is a waterproof trolley motor plug, and it's what I'm going to use to plug my boat into this battery. I also picked up this guy right here. This is just a waterproof box. I think I got it from Cabela's or Academy, one of those places. I figured this is about as small as I can go to actually fit the battery and all these components inside. Today's challenge is to fit all these components in the box, solder them all together, figure out how they're gonna mount without putting too many holes in the box because I kind of want to try and keep it waterproof. And then we're going to attempt to plug it into the boat and see if it works. I really, really hope it works. It can fix the regular old 20 volt batteries. I might even have enough space to store an extra battery in here. So let's see if we can get everything soldered together, get everything working, and then stuff it in the box. are starting to come together. I actually forgot that I ordered this little USB and 12 volt waterproof marine plug. So instead of using my trolling motor connector, which was kind of maybe a little bit overkill for this application, we're going with this instead because I can also use it to charge things like GoPro batteries or phone batteries or just, you know, anything that plugs in with the USB. The question now is, will it work? Our little light turns green. Uh, we have nothing, maybe I could turn it on. Oh my God, we have 12.3 volts coming out of our 20 volt battery. I wonder if I can actually charge my GoPro, which just died. That's why I'm holding my phone recording this right now. So GoPro goes in here, other end. That little red light right there means this thing is working. We have a success, or at least half a success. I can charge my stuff via USB off of a 20 volt DeWalt battery. Not that impressive since you can buy a tool that does that for you anyways. What is impressive is I'll put the lid on and then tomorrow we're gonna take it to the marina, hook it into my boat, and then finally it'll work 
I'm not gonna have to worry about dead batteries on my boat anymore because I'm gonna power the whole thing with power tools. Well, internet, it's tomorrow, and like I promised, we came up to the marina to plug my homemade power tool battery box into my boat. And um, we need to have a conversation about what the definition of success is. Is success, in this case, actually successfully hooking this box up to the boat and getting power, or is it the fact that we went on a journey of discovery and learned things about wiring and electricity and building and... Yeah, no, it, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. I'm hiding over here out of the wind, so hopefully it's not too windy. But I spent about an hour, I got the boat connected to the box. I used a 12 volt automotive power adapter, wired it into where my battery normally goes, plugged it in. I was getting 12 volts out of the box, but was not getting 12 volts to any of the circuits in the boat. Could be a lot of reasons for that. Might not be getting enough power, might have an issue with some of the fuses in the boat. It is a real old electrical system. So this right now is a fail and I will punish myself momentarily, but um, really the good news is there's a lot more work to be done and I have a chance to fix it because very soon my boat will go from living here on the dry land where boats aren't supposed to live and it'll be living over there in a slip in the water where boats are meant to be. And before that happens, I have a lot of work I have to do. I have to put bottom paint on this so it doesn't grow stuff and I guess sink. And I've got a lot of maintenance that, well, I should have done it last year, but I didn't do it before the season ended. So I've got a lot of kind of put off maintenance items I need to work on. So this thing is gonna get hauled to my house very soon where I can do the bottom paint, I can service a couple items, and then we're gonna put it in the water and enjoy the summer out there. And hopefully, if I keep working on it, we'll enjoy the summer with a working battery box. Okay, uh, now, now off to the grocery store to begin my punishment. Well, we have a little tradition around here that when you fail at something, you have to drink your pickle beer. Unfortunately, the grocery store was out of pickle beer and my collection of pickle beers, I left at Steven's house because I don't want them anywhere around here. I'm now left with the task of making my own pickle beer. We have a nice local Texas Shiner and these uh, triple pepper sucker punches. So, oh yeah, this is gonna be a spicy pickle beer. Ooh, has some, some sediment at the bottom. Mmm. Well, I failed. I'm paying my dues. Uh, don't forget to leave an angry comment on the video or subscribe if you haven't, and I'm gonna Enjoy this. Oh, this actually isn't that bad. I should probably put more pickle juice in it, but I'm not going to. Cheers. You gonna try this? This is actually really good. Sure. Oh, that is good. That's not bad. It's so weird. I did beef up the step down converter. The one we were using before was kinda weenie, beef up, kinda weenie, beef weenie, beef weenie, beef weenie.